Hello and good evening everybody. How are we all doing? Chat is already lighting up. We love to see everybody coming in. How is everyone? It's Tuesday night and you all know what that means. DMJ Vroom Room North America is back for another night of absolutely action-packed, fast, intense racing. So, let's break it down. Tonight's race is a 40-minute race, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be started off with a 15-minute qualifying run. The mandatory tire tonight is that racing medium tire. The pit window is at the end of lap 4 this evening, and it is sunny 3 conditions, and it is afternoon. Uh, I think it's times 13 is the settings. Uh, mistake missed by me there, no big deal. And of course, we're at Daytona Road Course, so uh, it should be. A pretty interesting race here tonight. Daytona makes for great racing. How is everybody doing? I see everybody popping in. And we see you in the chat. We'll get to everybody in just a second. Let's get through our details. So our series details for the whole series, with the exception of our final round, is five times tire wear at three times fuel consumption. So every time our drivers go around the racetrack one full time, they are going to use five laps worth of tires and three laps worth of fuel. So tires and fuel always on the minds of our drivers. It is a uh, BOP no tuning series, which means balance of performance is turned on, so these cars are as equal as possible. Traction control system and anti lock bracing, braking system is allowed. It is a heavy damage model here in the series, so the drivers really need to keep it prim and proper and right and tight. That heavy damage definitely going to cost a Daytona. Track edge is real, slipstream is real, our uh, track limit penalties are on weak, enforced by the game of course, pit line penalties are turned on, and our flag rule system is turned on in the game, so that does help with the stewarding enforcement a little bit here, if there is a penalty picked up during the race based off of the game's official stewards, that will also be served during the race at a very designated spot on the racetrack. It is a uh, grid start with a false start check, it is a 5 liter per second refuel speed this season, it is on race for real settings and the mandatory tire must be used for one full circuit lap that full circuit lap does not include the out lap or the in lap so if the drivers are only going to use it for one lap they need to come into pits they need to run that full lap plus another lap and then they can come back around on essentially the third lap at pit and get off that tire to meet the tire requirement and again, the round specific details here, it is a 40 minute race with a 15 minute qualifying run. It's a racing media mandate here this evening. The pit window is at the end of lap four and it is pretty sunny conditions at a 13 times variable weather condition. We are presented here by DMJ Vroom Room this evening, of course, partnered with LWR Designs and DDR. And I'm your host for the evening, GT45 Gaming. And a little special love and shout out to Fanatec and GT Omega as well. So. Let's keep going here. How's everybody doing tonight? First and foremost, how's everybody's week started? As you can see on the screen in front of us here, Daytona Road Course. Our camera crew is going to take us for a little tour here while we talk just a little bit longer as our drivers are set in. So, the one thing that is huge here tonight is uh, we have a full grid. Had a full grid. Are we missing a driver? Uh, yes, we have one more we're waiting for, but all our drivers here are scheduled to be here tonight. He, the other driver just hasn't popped in yet, so uh, it's going to be an interesting race at Daytona Road Course. Now, I think you guys are going to be surprised at the choice of car from the drivers. Again, the choices of cars are the GT3 version BMW Series cars in the game. That is the BMW M6 Sprint version. That is the BMW M3 model, and of course the BMW Z4, and these are all GT3 race cars. Fast Ginger says, good luck, pro drivers. Hey, hey, John, how are you, our guy? One of our biggest fans here, John Grayson. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Well, good racing is good racing. What can we say, my man? Uh, John coming in with a thumbs up. Aaron coming in with a thumbs up. Eduardo coming in with that thumbs up. And a legend coming in with a thumbs up. Ghost Viper Gaming as well. So uh, a couple extra special shout-outs as well to... Uh, Dedesai Mandel with the follow, uh, Shafool Islam with the follow, and Teresa Renee Nesbitt with the follows here off stream as well. Welcome to the Winter Circle community. Absolutely legendary community we have going on here, isn't it, folks? Hope you're well, Timmy. Good luck, drivers. Uh, we're doing fantastic, Ghost. I hope you are too, my guy. So, Daytona. Last week, last week was a record-setting week, and... Uh, very thankful and privileged here at DMJ North America as the host of the series here at GT45 Gaming. Uh, we had our first 
woman racer come in and win an official uh, league championship race here at DMJ North America. So that's the first time that's happened. So congratulations to Miss Devious with that. But with that being said, that was also her first ever career sim racing win. It was also her first DMJ Vroom Room career win. And uh, she also did it in the VR2 headset as well. So she's also our first VR2 headset round championship winner officially as well so big night for mischievous last week at tokyo expressway four records all collected up in one night for her so the big question is can she repeat tonight here at daytona road course are the cards going to be on her side well we'll have to wait and see as we're just a couple minutes away from qualifying here already and again we're just missing one driver here we're just waiting for him to jump into the lobby and then we're going to do some qualifying so Nobody wants to hear about my week so far. I'm here to forget about my week. Well, hope everyone is well. Well, we hope it just continues to get better. It's still young. It is lots of time yet, my guy. And, well, this should put a little smile on your face, hopefully, tonight. Uh, Family-friendly broadcast as well for uh, all the all the moms and dads out there watching. And the kids are wondering what you got going on. Absolutely friendly for the kids to come and watch, too. We promise. No swearing. No bad words. Just some wholesome, good fun. Uh, sim racing entertainment for everybody here this evening. Oh, I'm excited. I'm on time. I got a second to breathe. Very rare. <laughs> very, very rare. All right, so we're just waiting for one more driver here. We're not sure where he is here. He should be coming in. He's usually a late comer into the lobby, so we'll see what happens. If not, qualifying will run as scheduled and on time. That's just the way it works. Uh, yeah, so lots happening here. Uh, we, we'd also like to welcome uh, Rockefeller Racing back to DMJ North America as well. So uh, Rockefeller Racing back in the series here from last season. So that is our seventh sim racing team here now um, participating here in DMJ North America here in Season 3. To all our teams out there, to Apex Racing, uh, VPR Racing, ATK Motorsports, RAD, uh, of course, Rockefeller Racing, DDR, and who is the other team? I can't think of it right off the top of my head. Uh, I'm sorry I missed you, but we have seven teams now competing here at the series. So, uh, again, thank you to all the teams and, and for the support here in the series. And so far, what a series has been. We're round seven. We're getting down to that chase for the championship, down to those final nitty-gritty three rounds starting next week. Oh boy, you know it's going to be a all-out race here tonight. Drivers are going to be looking to maximize on those points, and it's a full grid, so every position is going to matter here today. Um, Payme, for example, determined. He says he's coming home. He's winning the rest of the season. Jakey, our two-time defending champion, uh, sitting at the top of the championship point standings right now by a slim margin, looking good so far, but still lots of time to go and a lot of competition in behind him. Mysterious quickly... Uh, moving up into, I shouldn't be in any parties here. No. All right. Not sure why that popped up. All right. So, well, we're going to start qualifying without said driver. Because it starts in one minute time. Joe coming in with that thumbs up. How you doing, my guy? Hope you're doing fantastic. All right, so we're going to do a quick uh, lobby reset. And then we're going to start qualifying. So we are missing one driver. If he does get in before the end of qualifying, of course, that will still allow him uh, to get into the race. And then from there, he'll just have to start at the back. Let's go, Miss D, says Joe. Oh, hey, there we go. All right, we're just trying to reset the lobby, and we have to do it twice in order for it to work properly. All right. So the double reset just sets the time of day back to where it's supposed to be for when we start the race for the drivers. That way there, everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be. So we are almost ready to get underway here. Uh oh we got a lobby glitch here. Uh, fail. That's a big fail right there. Oh, oh. There we go. All right, so we got to wait for a couple of our drivers to get back in here. The double lobby reset uh, tends to sometimes also. Thanks for the concern, Nick and Tim. I'm hanging strong and getting things done. It's the only way to be. Oh, hey, we can only take it one day at a time, my guy. It's uh, 
we all have our struggles from day to day, sometimes from week to week or sometimes longer than that. But hey, just know, John, my door is always open if you need to have a talk after as well. If you need to get something off your chest, we're always here for you. We just got to wait for our boy to get back in here. All right. We may need to start a new lobby if Jake can't get in. Ian coming in with that thumbs up and the share on the stream as well. How's everybody doing tonight? Ian, my guy, legend this guy is, let me tell you. Uh, what do we mean? We're not missing anything? We're not getting comments, so... Facebook's still a little uh, a little broken in some senses, so... Ooh, I, hey, the poll's looking good here so far tonight. So, uh, it's really hard to say who's going to win this thing tonight. I've been in some of the practice lobbies. I've been in some of the practice races with the drivers here throughout the week, and it's really anybody's game here tonight so we're gonna have to let qualifying decide all right we're gonna send these drivers out on track and we're gonna get in the way ladies and gentlemen so we are missing one driver not sure what happened something might have came up but that is the way it goes again if that driver does manage to get into the lobby before the race does start officially of course we will get him into that grid so 15 of our sorry 14 of our 15 scheduled drivers here this evening on the grid so it is going to be a very full grid here today and here we go let's see who our first driver out on the racetrack is here tonight let's just make sure audios are working nope so a little quick uh a little quick blue screen action for everybody the old alligato chat link screen and then we got sound again all right we always worry about our community john we appreciate uh every single member that shows that that amazing support and uh we always worry about our our viewers just as much as we do our behind the scenes community as well so just hang in there man just hang in there all right so who is going to be our first out on our racetrack tonight Daytona road course really doesn't need a whole lot of introduction uh, I mean 24 hours of Daytona and they started the season off with that big bad boy always always a great racetrack it looks like it's gonna be Lucas out first uh, and who he brought a car hot to trot here tonight this car's looking real good out on the racetracks got some great coloring in it so Lucas a little bit of information about Lucas he is let's go boys hashtag team apex how you doing Chris my guy uh real life racer he races on uh grid life here in the United States of America throughout the season he had a run just recently a couple weeks ago he had to miss a couple rounds of racing actually to go ahead and make that event so uh potentially could be heading to Watkins Glen right after the race here tonight as well but this is one of those drivers that's looking pretty good on the racetrack here in practice. So uh, be potentially looking out for Lucas 36 here tonight as a potential candidate to take home a big race win. We need some information, don't we? Don't we, don't we? And we need to get rid of the driver names above the cars because that just bugs me. That's a pet peeve, pet peeve. You see the hey name written on the track that is legendary right there John that is legendary my guy all right so we're just coming up to the start finish line we're gonna jump on board with Lucas here we're gonna take a lap uh, around Daytona infield course so this is the in and out essentially right here even though it's only one corner and then it's the other part of the corners of course when we leave the infield sector to um, NASCAR one and two sorry NASCAR three and four uh, so we head into the International Horseshoe here, and you're looking for a late apex here, ideally. So right there, you can see that curb just touching the tire as he gets on the power, and that's going to should give you a good trajectory out of the corner and give you uh, the ability to get on the power, hopefully, a little bit earlier. Full send around the dog leg kink here, and then that takes us into the Western Horseshoe, much of the same thing like the International Horseshoe. You're looking for a late apex, so you don't want to turn in early here. It's going to compromise your exit. You actually want to turn in late. It's a hard concept to understand, but it is the fastest way around the corner. <laughs> 
And then that takes us into the hard left-hander here, which of course takes us out into NASCAR 1 and 2. And that is the first part, of course, of the famous oval here at the Daytona racetrack. So over here in Florida, in the United States of America this evening for our 40-minute endurance race here from our drivers, round 7 of our Pro Division, and it is tight up in that top 3 in the standings. And we'll talk a little bit about that if we get the chance here tonight as the broadcast, uh, of course, progresses. So we head in full speed here. You're going to be hitting the break point right between the 2 and the 1 here, right there. If you're looking to get on the brakes here as we come in through the bus stop, or I guess it's a Le Mans chicane now, uh, more amply named uh, currently. But we like the bus stop here, so we're calling it the bus stop. And then that takes us out in the NASCAR 3 and 4, which of course leads us to the start finish line. So um, on the soft tires here, we should expect to see these pros anywhere between 145 and 147, and probably anywhere between a high 46 and a high 48 on medium tire times. And, eh, that's a safe, that's just a safe assessment. Uh, on what we should expect to see here. So let's see what Lucas has here as he comes around. And it's a 45-5, so a solid lap for the first time. Oh, and Lepeme is going to sit in third there. He's not going to grab any extra position. Freak here in third place. He's going to sit and uh, drop down the fourth. Larry Burst stealing position from him there. We got uh, Badass coming through here. What is he got? Oh, we missed him. He's going to sit in fifth. We got Smiley sitting in... Well, we're about to find out as we got LJ just going across there as well. Smiley's going to stay in 10th there. Uh, Nolander's coming over into the horseshoe right now. He's in that Z4, so we're seeing some car choices here. Smiley down in 12th. We got Miss Devious here. You can see her in her new Rockefeller Racing digs there, so a little bit of a change from Miss Devious here, but absolutely great looking Z4 here on the track tonight and currently sitting in 14th, so must not have had a good first qualifying lap there, and it seems to be a very heavy the Z4 field here tonight. So Lucas Purple again as he comes around and a 45-5 so far holding out here as he comes around Daytona for the second time for the second official lap. 15 minutes of qualifying. So we're going to see about seven or eight laps from these drivers here. And at the end of the day, we'll see who settles on top of pole position. We're all oh, three-tenths of a second purple up right now is Lucas. And boy, is Lucas looking like he's feeling it here tonight. And he is just taking that bus stop crispy clean. Very nice smooth line through there. Great exit speed as he comes out. It's going to be a fast lap here coming from Lucas tonight. And I think Lucas Lucas is looking to maybe put a statement here in on this season. He's just in behind those top three podium drivers right now chasing in points. He's not too far off. He's missed a couple of races, so he's really taken, uh, looking for a chance to grab some big points here tonight. And a pole position and a win could definitely do it. A 45.1 coming from Lucas here. Peme is with a 45.5, so he's going to solidify his time a little bit better, but not enough to grab pole there. Uh, let's stick with Larry here as he's coming around right now. we got a whole gaggle of cars coming up. we got both Sniper fourth, Jakey in fifth, tattooed in sixth, CRF in seventh. We got LJ in eighth. So let's see what Larry here. Larry is on a bad lap. So let's uh, let's not see what Larry's on there. We're just seeing what the time was there from Larry. Uh, we got both snipe here in fifth place. We got LJ in sixth currently freaked out. Ooh, in the seventh and mowing some grass here with that Z4. And it kind of does sound like a lawnmower, so kind of fitting. Uh, Smiley up at the eighth here. We got CRF down into ninth. Knudsen in tenth place. We've got uh, Badass currently sitting in eleventh. With Devious up at the twelfth as he comes across the line there. Uh, Nolander, Rad Team founder here in 13th, and Streeter Tom now in 14th. Streeter Tom wasn't feeling uh, the vibes here earlier on tonight, so we'll see if he can settle into this race here tonight. Oh, that's right, it is. Uh, happy birthday, Lucas36, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get some happy birthdays up in the chat for Lucas36. Listen to me. Help him feel some love while he's out on track looking for a birthday win here at round 7 at Daytona Road Course tonight. Wouldn't that be something? He's looking good. Come on, Larry, let's get it. Hey, popping. We're popping tonight. Absolutely love that. All right, so Lucas two tenths ahead of Peme right now. Peme is still chasing one, uh, two tenths ahead of Jakey. Jakey jumped up into P3 here now, and he's looking to try and get into some slipstream here potentially. Larry is in fourth place, and I want to tell you something. After Miss Devious's win uh, last week, uh, Larry has become ever so determined to get his first win here in this pro division this season as well. Uh, he said if Miss Devious could beat these aliens, anyone could beat these aliens. So watch out for Larry Birch tonight because this man is a man on a mission. 
We've got Bo Snipe here in fifth place, and he's going to jump up into P4 there, bettering his time as a 45-6 as he comes across the line right there, so a good time there. He's just going to leapfrog Larry Birch as he comes around. Tattoo's going to stay in seventh as he comes through. Where's Smiley? Smiley is going to jump up into P6 with a 45-7 uh, there from Smiley. CRF is going to move up now with a 40. Uh, that's definitely not the right time. Uh, he's moved up into 6th place, so, so we're getting a little bit of timing incorrect in there, but that's alright as we switch drivers, it recorrects itself, it's weird. We got Nutsen here in 10th place, Miss Devious just dropped a 46-something there as well, where does that put her? Up still into 12th place. Fast field of drivers here tonight. Uh, we got Nolander here in 13th, we've got Tom here in 14th, and he is at a 47.5 here right now, so a little uncharacteristic from ATK Street or Tom. We know he's a fast driver, so just not driving with this track and car combo maybe tonight, it's hard to say. But Luke is still sitting in pole position here, and he's looking pretty good as they come around this racetrack. Now the damage is on heavy here in qualifying, so the drivers need to weigh risk versus reward here to uh, really determine how hard they're going to push in qualifying as well. Right now we've got Peime. Ooh, and Peime sitting on a purple sector here. Seven one thousandths, uh, seven one hundredths, pardon me, is ahead of Lucas as he comes out into NASCAR three and four. So can he get the line? Can he get the run around the oval and steal that pole position away from Lucas 36? We're about to find out as he comes across the line. It is going to be close. Let us see. Oh, it's not quite enough there. It's going to be a... Well, that's not a 46. It's a 45-4 coming from Peime there. And he was purple coming out of the exit there, but unable to capitalize on this. A slight advantage he had there. Uh, Jakey here in third place, and he's still sitting uh, very quickly. There was a 45-5 or somewhere in around there as well. We got Mr. Bo Snipe here in fourth place. We got Larry Birch still sitting in fifth. CRF coming across the line here. What's he got? Not an improvement there this time around. Smiley's in seventh. We got ALJ all the way down into eighth place. That just goes to show a testament of the strength of this field when we see so many fast drivers sitting so low uh, in, in qualifying. That just goes to tell you that this whole division is just that fast. Uh, Nuts in here in ninth place. We got Freak in tenth. We've got Badass here in 11th Street. Tom coming in with a 46.9, so definitely improving on that time there. Miss Devious here in 12th place. 46.5, her best lap currently on the track. We got Streeter Tom with a 46.9 there. And Nolander right now with a 47 flat, currently his best time. So very, very heavy Z4 field tonight. Hey, let's go, Tom, says Cody Bass. How you doing, my guy? Welcome in. We love to see the fans coming in cheering for their favorite drivers. That's what it's all about. The drivers really do appreciate all the fans out there as well. Not to take anything away from this deer or anything. Great drive to Tokyo from her, but she's definitely you put a fire under some of these drivers. Oh, without a question of a doubt, Chris, you're not wrong. She has stemmed some competition out of these uh, divisional drivers here this week, and it is looking good. This is going to be a pretty fast race, but much like we've seen last week in Tokyo, slipstreaming and bump drafting really are going to play a factor here in this race. If you get two or three cars that can really connect and drive well together and trust each other here, that could be enough to pull away from the whole pack. So you're not going to want to be the sole driver here on Daytona tonight. You're going to want to keep that right and tight and try not to lose the pack here tonight. And if these drivers, uh, if this is any testament where we're at, we're, we're less than two seconds between top to bottom here in this division tonight. Uh, 1.7 seconds separating uh, pole position from from our first place driver so uh when you get all these drivers in a line nose to tail that's that's pretty close to a nose to tail line of 14 cars so it is that close here tonight uh luke is still in first place but Bo snipe coming in with a nice lap there he's going to jump up ahead of payme into p2 with a 45-3 uh payme going to come out of pit lane there he's got about four minutes remaining here so he's still got a little bit of time he can get one more crack at trying to get better his position jakey's going to drop down the fourth of that lap from bow that puts larry back into p5 crf's down into sixth here now so crf and larry birch switching that position around a little bit here we got smiley in seventh place Ooh, look at that livery that is looking pretty styling a little bit of lag coming from that driver and that could be uh, uh well that should be interesting uh, first couple times around the racetrack here so uh hopefully that doesn't factor in too much into anything that's going on but we'll see what happens here we got nuts and a little bit of lag coming from nuts here tonight as well uh freak here in 10th place badass right in behind in 11th again mischievous here in 12th and a nice new little look for her uh on her cars here now we got uh streeter tom coming out here he's gonna have time to get one more hot lap and one more crack at this and no lander here uh in final our final 14th position here so 
We'll do our qualifying, and if we get a final driver to jump in the grid, we'll pop them up on the back of the grid, and we'll send this thing flying. Find a dancing partner and pray that they don't have two left feet. Absolutely, Chris. Absolutely, and, and it's a tricky situation when you're when you're driving because the driver behind has to deal with dirty air. They have to trust the driver in front that they're not going to break early or, or make that mistake in front. Yeah, it really does require a lot of silent participation and teamwork and cooperation between uh, multiple drivers working in that scenario. All right, Bo Snipe still sitting in second. We got Payme coming around. This is his outlap. Uh, where's Jakey? Jakey is coming into the bus stop. Let's stick with Larry Birch here as he comes around NASCAR 4 here. And he's just heading towards that start finish line in behind. I believe his payment is up in front of him there. So uh, Larry's going to be a 46074 there. So it's not going to be an improvement for Larry this time around. And these drivers got one more crack at this here. So uh, Amos Smiley here as he comes around. No, he's heading into the bus stop. Let's go find somebody who's getting close to that start finish line here. Um. He's just coming out of the bus stop there. All right, we got Smiley just in behind uh, LJ here. So we got Smiley and LJ here. So we'll stick with LJ. LJ is going to come across first, and then we'll go jump over to Smiley when LJ comes across here. So we'll see what LJ has. So many people to root for. I hope they all win. Oh, wow. uh, that's a tough one. Eh? I know it's a tough field. Some really, really good community drivers out here tonight. Uh, LJ better this time. They're a 45.8 flat. But that's still going to just keep him in 8th place there. Smiley, he's not going to 46 flat there. That's not going to be improving for him either. So who is just coming into the start-finish line right now? I don't know where I'm missing it. Ah! All right, we're trying to find the front of the pack here. There we go. All right, we got Bo Snipe here leading out this huge pack coming around the final time. Uh, 14 and a half minutes here left on or in the timer, so 30 seconds remaining on the timer for qualifying. And then we're going to give these drivers two minutes to get their cars set and any final temperatures and all that stuff juiced up in their cars. And then we're going to kick this race off for 40 minutes. And I think we're in for a barn burner tonight, chat. I think this is going to be one heated race. Uh, Paymay is coming around here. Let's see if Paymay can get ahead of both Sniper Lucas here as he comes around. Timer is going to be very close here. He might just squeak one more lap in. And it's not going to be an improvement there for Payme. So uh, CRF is going to get around one more time. Jake is just chilling in the pits. He's just going to be like, you know what? Qualifying is one thing, racing is another. We got Larry Birch uh, pushing it hard, come out of the first corner there, getting it a little bit wrong. And well, we know what his crew is going to be doing in the two minute break. They're going to be doing a little bit of band aiding to the front end of that car there. Cast Smiley here in seventh. And he's coming through the bus stop right now. So I believe it's going to be LJ in front of him here. So we'll jump on back with LJ as he comes around. And this will be the final lap for LJ and Smiley as he comes around. Anthony up in the house. How we doing, Legends? We doing good. How about yourself, Rockstar? Coming with that thumbs up. We appreciate you, my guy. Appreciate that reaction on the stream as well. Oh, and we lost Jakey. So we're going to have a little bit of a lobby reset here. And let Jakey get back in. So Jakey was in P5 there. Smiley's going to jump up into P6 there as he comes around the final time. So that was a good lap for Smiley there. Uh, looked like Tom maybe improving a little bit there as well. We got Nutson in 9th, Freak in 10th. We we'll see what Badass has here in 8th place as he comes around. Gonna be a 46-4 there from uh, Badass, so it's not an improvement there. We got Nutson coming around there and a little bit of lag there. You can see the car just sparking around the bank part of the oval. So uh, typically the lag is always worse in the corners here in the game right now. That's just the way it is. But we do have an update coming. A CFR, a CRF jumping up in a P2 there, just leapfrogging over both snipe with a great final lap there as well. And Nutson's gonna come in with a 45-899 there as well. So he's gonna stay in ninth place, but he definitely improved his time there. And let's see if we have anybody else out. No, we do not. All right, so we've got Lucas sitting in pole position. We've got CRF in second. We've got Bull Snipe in third. We've got Payme in fourth. And then it's going to be Jakey in fifth. It'll be Larry Birch in sixth. It'll be Smiley in seventh. LJ in eighth. Badass in ninth. Nutson in tenth. Freak in eleventh. Mysterious in 12th, Streeter Tom in 13th, and Nolander routing out our field here today. So as soon as our timer runs out, we'll switch the lobby settings over. 
and we'll get the lobby reset up once Jay gets in. We'll get that grid up and rocking and rolling. Pretty spicy qualifying, very close. Lucas is now only 700 ahead of CRF, he's only 500 ahead of Bo Snipe, he's 100 ahead of Payme. Then there's three tenths to uh, Apex Larry Birch, which essentially is going to be uh, Jakey there, so it's even less time in between those drivers. All right, so we got two. And there is. That's good, because I was the wrong button. All right, so I'm just going to flip you back over to this screen just for a moment, ladies and gentlemen, while we reset that grid. So once all our drivers check in, we'll set the grid, and we'll fire this thing off. Pigums joined the party. <laughs> Pigums joined the party. It's always a party here uh, in the DMJ Vroom Room Clubhouse here at GT45 Gaming. I, the drivers are always hyped up. They're always excited. They're always buzzing in the Discord. It's it's a lot of fun in behind the scenes. Uh, really great vibe and, and jive here with the community this season, uh, much like our first two seasons. So, again, very blessed uh, to have the great driving community available that we have here. Oh, you're good, Jakey. You don't need to be sorry, my dude. It's not your fault, my guy. Just got to wait for Smiley to check in, and then we can uh, set that grid, and then we can get rocking and rolling. All right, I think we're good to go. We got 14 checked in. All right. So it's going to be Lucas, CRF, Bo, and Pamey. Where's our boy Bo? There's Bo. Move him up into P3. Pay me down into P4. Jakey in 5. It'll be uh, Mr. Larry Birch. Followed by Smiley. Followed by Mr. Badass. No, that's not right. I think LJ's in there somewhere. All right, we just uh, we're bouncing between screenshots here. Lucas, here, post night payment. Larry, Smiley, LJ, badass. Larry, Smiley, LJ, badass. Larry, Smiley, LJ, badass. You can get to hang out through me with my process chat. <laughs> Oh, wrong buttons. Uh, Nutsin, Freak, Miss D. Mr. Tattooed Freak. Miss Devious. And then Tom and Nolander, I do believe. All right, so. One more time, just to make sure we got it right. We got Lucas, we got CRF, we got Bo, Pebe, Larry, Smiley, LJ, Badass. Check. Nuts and Freak, Mischievous, Tom, and Olander. <laughs> Alright, so it is Lucas36, CRF, Bo, Snipe, Pebe, Jakey, Larry Bird, Smiley, Jay Stewart, Badass, Nutsen, Freak, Mischievous. 
ATKs, Chase Streeter, Tom, and Nolander. All right. <laughs> Are we ready, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, how you doing, Matt? How can we get in this group and love Steam? Well, I can uh, put a Discord server invite up for you in the chat. Do I have one up? I do not. All right. Do we have one in the description? Okay, I will try to get a Discord invite posted up into that chat. Or Joe, if you're still watching, if you wouldn't mind uh, popping one in for Matt there. We can uh, get him into the Discord and he come check things out for himself. All right, so I think we're good to go. We got 14 drivers checked in. The grid is good. Let's go racing, chat. Uh, or hit me up on the messenger too if we can't get that information to you right away, Matt. And uh, the GT45 Gaming Messenger page, and we will. Uh, I can get it to you that way as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kick them tires, light them fires. It's time to go racing, and boy, we're in for one tonight let's go all right 14 drivers enter let's see who reigns supreme here in round seven daytona road course dmj Vroom room north america and we are green and the driver's quickly already jockeying for that early on position lucas gets a great start there he's looking at that whole shot we're gonna go two by two coming into the first corner so here we go it is going to be lucas coming through first and we're gonna go side by side with bow snipe and crf and this is a tough corner for the first couple times with this many cars all tightened up and grouped up or two wide three wide as we're coming out of corners one and two and beautiful Beautiful first corner here by our pros, but it's not all over. That takes us into the International Horseshoe. This corner can get you out, especially on those cold racing tires. We've got a battle between Jakey and CRF here. Side by side are these two drivers. And Smiley just sitting there in the wings. Oh, we got Tom uh, catching the grass. Maybe a little bit of contact there in the backfield there. I'm not sure what's happened there. Let's go see what happened to Tom here. Uh, as he was coming around the corner... Ooh, might have been a little bit of contact there between uh, him and another driver. So, ooh, very fortunate there. He got that car spun around very quickly there and uh, back on the road. But uh, going to be just a little bit off the pack here now. And uh, lo looks like Miss Devious actually stopped and gave that position back there as well. So, uh, it, just contact the three cars going three wide through the corner. Two cars just touched tires there a little bit. And, uh, poof, that just sent Tom around. But... Miss Devious looks like she uh, held up on the racetrack there and settled in and gave that position back. So uh, kudos to her. Whether or not that was her fault, she felt like that's the right thing to do. Uh, and that's just a respect, of course, between the drivers on the grid. So love to see that. Badass here in 7th place. we got Freak in 8th. We've got LJ in 9th. We've got Knutson in 10th. Uh, we've got Larry in 11th. We've got Nolander up at the P12 now. And we've got Tom and Miss Devious here in 13th to 14th place. So both in the same car here. A little bit of strategy between these two drivers. They start working out, and uh, we can absolutely get kicking it. Pole position time, Aaron, was a 145.109 by Lucas. So heading into the first corner here on lap two, and uh, everybody survived without damage here on the first lap. So congratulations to these drivers for an absolutely great clean race start here. And now it's on like Donkey Kong. CRF in fifth place with Smiley chasing and Smiley now side by side here with CRF a Smiley on the outside position here so tough spot and he got a little bit of a run there but nowhere to go with CRF defending that apex so CRF defends the position for the time being. Got LJ, he's going up the inside of Freak here, and we're side by side as they come around the dog leg kink, and LJ's going to settle into in behind, but is he going to look up the inside as we come into the West Horseshoe? Nope, he's just going to settle back in behind Tattooed Freak there and continue on. Knutson right there in 10th place, and he's just looking, he's just chilling right now, and all the drivers being very patient here. Larry Birch in 11th. Uh, ATK Streeter Tom now up at the 12th place. We've got Miss Devious here in 13th and Nolander in 14th. So uh, Boo Boo maybe from Nolander here. Let's see if we can see what we can see. Whatever happened, it happened before we could hit the replay button. So Nolander just in the back side of that field and behind Miss Devious now. Those drivers are not anywhere out of this race yet there's lots of racing to go we're only three minutes in here so far and slipstream is going to play a factor here so 
Drivers start working together, uh, much like we saw in Tokyo, and it could completely change the race here. So right now it is Lucas 36 here in first place. Peme very close behind here in second place, and he's definitely in that slipstream. We've got Apex's Jakey here and our defending champion in third place, and this guy is determined unlike anybody else either, and he's not running out of fuel. That's just a game glitch. We apologize about that. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get rid of it on the screen either for everybody. We got Ball Snipe here in fourth place here and a very Z4 heavy field tonight. And ironically, the Z4 does feel pretty good here around the Daytona road course over that M6, which you would expect most of the drivers would opt to use due to the uh, top end power on the big oval straights here oval corner is not really a straight i guess we have crf here in fifth place and as the drivers head into the international horseshoe for the third time here these drivers have really very quickly settled into this race uh ooh, a little bit of a wobble there from badass in seventh place and freak in eighth place that might give him a run uh on badass there just up ahead of him but right now everybody's just kind of chilling max and relaxing fuel obviously is on their minds then early in the race and nobody wants to get that damage you can tell these pros are locked in here this evening Evening. We got Larry here in P11. We've got Streeter Tom here now in 12th and Ms. Devious. And they're only uh, just seven, seven, seven seconds off this group here at the moment. So this is far from over from the, for these drivers yet. A little on the back foot, but definitely moving in the right direction. Uh, where is Mr. Nolander? Nolander here in 14th. And he's a little bit off the pace here. So maybe another mistake here coming from Nolander. And uh, Nolander having a tough start to his night here. It is Lucas 36, and he's trying to open that gap up big enough to where Peme is not in that slipstream anymore, where, where he's giving Peme a free ride and free closing speed here, but he's just not quite able to pull that gap on that M6, and you can see Peme closing back in as that timing is coming down there on the top left side of the screen. It was six tenths of a second. Now it's almost down to four tenths, and in the process of this happening, Peme is bringing along our defending champion, Jakey, in third place just behind as well. Uh, Bo sniped there in fourth place. He's just off the draft range here right now but he's just there he is definitely not out of this a small little mistake coming into the first corner here from any one of these three drivers and both snipes are to capitalize on it so here we go dirty air tight corners gotta get make sure you don't get that too tight there's an invisible wall so to speak there and all us racers know exactly what wall we're talking about there and it catches you out uh it, it it's just an invisible part of the wall that you hit and you don't even know it's there because you can't see it so everybody's doing pretty good here at realizing the dangers here at daytona road course this evening smiley in sixth place here he's got a nice little gap right now and then this pack here uh kind of battling kind of not battling we got tattooed freaking badass their nose to tail here they've been uh what seems to be in cooperation here so far early on in the race as we're coming into the Western Horseshoe here right now, you can see all the uh, car trucks and the tire trucks in the background there. It's a great shot. Oh, and a little bit of a battle there, I think, between Larry Birch and LJ there, and a big wobble coming from LJ there as uh, that was breaking down. So let's go take another look at that. And side-by-side -side battle here. Larry Birch getting up the inside, and LJ just tried to get down on the power there. Just a little wiggle coming out of that Z4. It was enough for Larry Birch to grab the position, so LJ just settles back in behind. And uh, continues on down the road there. So has to make that position up. But currently sitting in P11 here. Ooh, we had a little leg spike there. ATK Streeter Tom now here in 12th place. Mysterious in uh, 13th and behind. And they are closing up the pack here right now. It was 7, now it's 4. Uh, so slowly but surely these drivers are starting to wheel their way back up into the pack and Nolan is a little bit back here so I think a couple of self-induced incidents there from Nolan he's got himself a little bit on the back foot computer please refuel drivers I know my car absolutely right I know uh, we don't have any game sound again I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen my capture card is really being an issue child here right now so let's uh let's get it back going all right keep me uh, keep me updated if it happens again I do apologize so Quick little interruption in the action here, but it is still Lucas 36 here in first place, Payme in second, and Jakey right here in third. Now these drivers are all nose to tail, and then enter Bo Snipe. So now four-way battle for the lead here currently. Not necessarily a battle, but four cars all within range of taking it. But Lucas 36 is doing a good job at just managing enough of a gap not to let these drivers try to make a move into the infield section here. So Lucas 36 right now doing a great job of controlling the pace of this race. 
I guess the biggest question for Lucas 36 now is he comfortable out there trying to control the pace of the race all race knowing that he's doing a lot of the work he's breaking open that hole in the air he's using a little extra fuel uh, I guess we'll have to see how it all plays out Peme here he got a great run coming out of the uh, uh, coming out of the infield sector there into NASCAR 1 and 2 and Peme and Jakey a little bit off the back foot of the leader there right now but uh, we're going to see a lot of this throughout the race we're not going to see a lot of aggressive passing here early on in the race I think the drivers are really going to try to be focused on trying to stay close as possible to each driver up in front and try of course to break that gap to the drivers in behind but this is Daytona uh, as soon as you get in that slipstream and you can get a good caliber run it is game on so we got Smiley and Badass here side by side and uh, that was a move developed maybe in the bus stop there so Badass on that high side of the bank here we got Smiley on the low side and Smiley's gonna have to serve that half second penalty here so probably gonna drop at least two positions here he'll lose that position obviously to Badass that's uh, side by side there and he's most likely going to lose that to Freak as Freak goes around there as well. So Smiley dropping down two positions with that half-second track limit penalty. And I'm assuming that was picked up in the bus stop there. Got Knutson now in ninth place, and he really closed up on Smiley there as well. Larry Birch here in tenth, and these four drivers are getting quite close together here on the racetrack. We got Streeter Tom and LJ here now battling for position. So LJ... Uh struggling a little bit here tonight uh no damage on the car just dropping down towards the back of the pack right now in position so let's see if we can see uh what led up to that move here no we just missed it because i'm slacking tonight on my replays but lj snell currently sitting in 12th that's miss devious right up in behind her 1.1 seconds behind and starting to close up the gap so looking for a little bit of strip slipstream here trying to get her way back up into the fight of this race here tonight all right jakey now in the race lead here oh boy what did we miss we missed something big happening here up front and unfortunately our replay doesn't take us far enough back but coming somewhere in the infield sector jakey has found his way from third to first place both snipes have gone from fourth uh, fourth to second lucas has gone from first to third and Pame is a little bit off the, the back foot of all these drivers so maybe a little bit of a tussle uh, as these drivers are sorting themselves out coming through the infield sector and unfortunately we missed what happened there so I guess we'll have to wait for the highlight reel next week to see what happened there oh no and Lucas Lucas spinning out coming out of the bus stop and oh boy the race was going so well for him and that uh, that mistake going to be very costly here so let's see what happened here a little bit of dirty air maybe playing in he goes to make the corner here and just a little sideways under the throttle and oh nose first right into that Daytona wall coming into NASCAR one tough hit there from Lucas 36 and going uh going getting getting bad to worse here as he goes from first to tenth place uh in that lap so oh boy Bo Snipe and Apex races Jakey side by side coming through the first turn here but Apex Jakey has the inside track but Bo Snipe is not giving it freely and then he's gonna lose that position out on the de great defense there by Apex Jakey as he kept the inside line coming in now coming into the international horseshoe you'll see if Bo Snipe looks for a cutback here Jakey gets a great exit Bo Snipe's not able to make anything happen here so he's just gonna settle in behind our current race leader Apex Racing's Peme here in third place and he is trying to close the gap back up to these two drivers in front crf now up into fourth place of course with all the shuffling going on here up front and it's really unfortunate we missed what happened there uh with lucas in that pack there but uh we'll have to see if we can get some insight from our podium interviewees maybe here at the end of the night depending of course on who they are smiley here in sixth place right now as he's about 1. Second, 1.7 seconds in behind tcr's badass currently that puts nutson in seventh with Tattoo Freak very close behind in 8th and Larry Birch right in behind him in ninth. so several drivers still very close to each other here got Lucas now in 10th place and Lucas is struggling here a little bit he's got some damage on that car now that is definitely going to hurt his lap times around the racetrack here it's going to be interesting to see what he opts to do here now that's ETK Streeter Tom here in 11th place and that timing is going to start dropping so Streeter Tom is going to start to grow that something is up here with Lucas up in front we'll have to see uh what he opts to do there miss devious here in 12th place and she's starting to close in on uh uh lucas and atk streeter tom with lj just in behind here in 13th place as well and then we've got nolander a little bit behind so he's managing that gap right now he needs a little bit of pit strategy to play in his favor here uh to get caught back up with his pack 
So Apex Jakey two tenths a second ahead of Payme here right now as they come into the first corner to start lap eight. What can we expect to see for lap, laps here tonight? I think we'll see about 21 or 22 laps. And oh my, Jakey now uh, getting it wrong. And he's going to find himself in the wall coming into the first corner. And oh boy, he's got to watch that whole pack go by before he can get himself turned around. And he's going to find himself all the way down to P9. And boy, oh boy, our leaders are not finding any love from Daytona Road Course here tonight. He comes in, looks like the line is real good. And just a little too heavy on the throttle coming out and spins that car around. And it's going to be meeting with Barry R for two-time defending champion Apex Rake and Jakey. And our leaders tonight should be very wary here as uh, Daytona has been biting back. So Peme now going to find himself with the lead of the race here with the exit of Jakey there down to ninth place. we got Bo Snipe now in second. got CRF in third. We've got Badass now up in the fourth place with Smiley gra gra jumping up at the P5 from that incident. Knutson's up into sixth place. We got Larry in seventh with Freak just in behind here in eighth. And then we got a little bit of a gap. Six seconds. Apex Jakey right there. Now it's ATK Streeter Tom chasing him down. So I think we've seen Lucas probably make a pit stop here and get that car sorted out. That's going to put Miss Devious here chasing in 11th place with LJ right behind. Now in 12th, Lucas is in 13th. And that is exactly it. He has made that pit stop. So uh, an old lander here in 14th place. So... Pit strategies now are going to be crucial for a couple of our drivers here tonight. Uh, Lucas, Nolander, and Apex Racer Jakey. Going to be interesting to see what they opt to do. Peme, he's on the move now. He's got that taste of the race lead. He's got some fresh, clean air in the front of that BMW M6 Sprint model. And he is looking to pull away. But both Snipe and CRF have other ideas as they come into that first corner. You can really see. Oh, and both Snipe's going to get a little bit wider. He's got to be careful. And now it could cost him position here to CRF. And as he goes across to catch the other line, he just gets that car out in front. CRF having to check up a little bit there. So a missed opportunity there, I think, from CRF as he tucks back into both Snipe coming out of the International Horseshoe. You can see fourth place driver Badass there uh, trying to close up just a second away from that draft there right now. So about two tenths of a second away. And he's got some free pull into the car ahead of him. Knutson here in fifth place and him and Smiley now getting a little bit feisty here in fifth and sixth place and Smiley's going to take a look up the outside see if he gets the cutback coming around the inner west horseshoe here but Knutson gets a very good exit there and he actually pulls away from Smiley out of that exit a little bit. Larry Birch pulls right in to the backside of Smiley here on that exit and Larry Birch also in that BMW M6 here tonight so a couple of M6s against a very heavy uh, BMW Z4 field this evening. Tattooed Freak just in behind these guys, just two seconds in behind here right now, uh, sitting in eighth place. We've got Jakey in ninth. He hasn't opted to pit yet. Uh, he's got a two-second gap currently on Streeter Tom, but he's definitely losing time to Tattooed Freak up in front. Streeter Tom here, one, uh, two seconds in closing. He's got 1.2 seconds on 11th place driver, Miss Devious, who uh, right now is just can't quite get into that slipstream of Tom. Got LJ here in 12th place, and he's just uh, been a little bit off here in this race. I'm not sure if he's just made a little mistake somewhere along the way or two, and he's just uh, hasn't quite dialed back in here yet. We got Nolander here, 17 seconds behind Lucas, and Lucas is about 22 seconds in behind the pack right now. Of course, both those drivers making a pit stop here so far. Welcome in if you're just tuning in here. This is DMJ North America. This is DMJ Vroom 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 Room North America. Pardon me, folks. Uh, North America series. This is season three now here at GT45 Gaming. So we see CRF get the job done here uh, on Bo Snipe coming around corner one. Let's take another peek at that as we come around. So coming into the corner, nice wide long entry. Bo goes a little bit deep there again, like we seen last time around. CRF made sure he was in the right spot this time to get the job done. And he gets the job done up in the inside lane. So great job there to CRF to move himself up into second place. And still currently holding both snipe here in third place. Uh, again, presented by DMJ Room Room North America, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I partnered with LWR Designs, DDR Racing. And a huge love to High Pre Graphics for coming up with all of the overlays that we see here on the screen. And I'm your host for the evening, GT45 Gaming. And of course, a little special love out to Fanatec and GT Omega. Uh, as well as uh, proud partners of the series here as well. So... Uh, I'd like to show all the love out there as much as we can throughout the broadcast and of course to our viewers The legends out there that make this happen every single week. We appreciate you the most Love you for that support. Kilty coming in with that like and that share on the stream. Appreciate you my guy 
pro-am driver, Mr. Kilt Racer, uh, looking to get a little a jiggy with the racetrack here against uh, against Daytona tomorrow night himself. Larry Birch in seventh place. We got tattooed in eighth, and Streeter Tom here now up into ninth place. So Jake has decided to make that pit stop. So it's now nine seconds from Streeter Tom to Tattooed Freak up in eighth place. That moves Mysterious up into. 10th uh, position here and losing a little bit of ground on Streeter Tom there in ninth place. Uh, LJ here, ooh, getting a little bit up into the wall there and this might look like a disconnect here. Uh oh, I think we're losing a driver as we just seen it happen to us firsthand. Uh, LJ disconnecting right there from the server. Um, telltale sign of a disconnect right there. Internet just went kaput or he got something going on there. And uh, the car just slowly rolled right up into the wall. So we lose LJ here uh, in our race this evening. So uh, unfortunately for him, it's going to be a P14 finish here tonight. Not all lost, but definitely going to be frustrating for him uh, as he's uh, suffered his first disconnect of the season here, I believe, as well. So LJ ending a little early here tonight. Uh, and unfortunately, nothing that to his doing. So... We do reward the drivers with points because they did uh, qualify and, of course, show up and start putting laps into the race. So we do reward the drivers, um, of course, with, uh, with, in this case, tonight, 14th place points for LJ because we still have 13 active drivers on the racetrack. We have CRF here, and he is closing in on PMA, just four-tenths of a second out of that draft right now. And you can see a little bit of movement from one side of the track to the other, and that's just to try and break up the slipstream of course from one driver to another try not to let him get that toe bow snipe's going to close in on crf a little bit here as he uh was trying to get some clean air into the front end of that race car as they come to the bus stop and you can see badass really starting to close up here in fourth place as well and he's looking for his first podium uh of the season as well Yeah, we just yanked our keyboard right out of the PlayStation, so uh, we just have to plug that in real quick, so my apologies for the moment of pause there. All right, Knutson up into fifth place here, and uh, again, very uneventful race here so far, but this is uh, 13 drivers thinking about the end of the race right now. They're not thinking about uh, what's happening at 22 minutes into the race. They're thinking about that pit stop window, and they're thinking about how they can make up that ground now uh, in the last half of the race around their final stint. So uh, most likely we're going to see medium soft stops here tonight. That's what it looks like it's shaping up to be. Uh, I believe every driver started on the same tire here tonight as well. Streeter Tom in ninth place. Mysterious, he's going to come into pit lane here uh, and take a pit stop as well. We got Lucas here in 11th place. We've got Jakey in 12th. And we've got Nolander here uh, in 13th. And Trying to make some tracks, trying to get some distance made back up here in the road. I kept teleporting me, and then boom, yeah, we seen the DC, LJ, we seen it, brother. Was that what was happening? It was teleporting you backwards? Oh, no. That's not good. We do have an update coming tomorrow night here on the game, though, so hopefully uh, that's on the list of things to address, because I haven't seen that in a while. Uh, dude, that sucks. All right, CRF in second place here. The Hulk, it says on his cover there. And Pepe's doing a good job at controlling that gap. He hasn't really let these guys uh, gain position enough to make a move on him here. So right now it's almost a second. And uh, CRF and Bo Snipe there, I believe we, yeah, we do have a sec half-second penalty there on Bo Snipe. I, I thought he might have got a little bit... Uh, a little bit of a cut on that third apex coming through the bus stop there, and that is in case the uh, the situation here. So Badass might be moving up into P3 here now, as uh, Bo is going to, well, he's going to jump into pit lane after serving that penalty. Well, probably a good time to do that. So Badass now going to move up into third place. That's going to put Nutson up into fourth, Smiley up into fifth. Uh, Tattooed Freak up into sixth, but Larry Birch on the outside here, and we're going to go side by side. Uh, Tattooed, he's going to break a little bit extra there, but look at the run he's going to get. Ooh, a little bit of contact between the two drivers there, and we're side by side as we come off to the first quarter there. All right, so it's going to be Freak in front there, and Larry Birch sitting in seventh place here. Uh, we got Streeter Tom here in eighth place, and he is, he can see them just get around the horseshoe there, so a little incentive for that driver. We've got Lucas now in tenth place, and boy, this driver look absolutely strong here tonight. He did have that pole position. He was leading at the beginning of this race, and then something happened in the bus stop. He got a little bit loose coming out of the bus stop, hit that wall in the NASCAR one, and he's been on the back foot since here chasing. 
We've seen the same thing from Jake. He took over the race lead from Lucas when Lucas had that incident. And coming around this corner right here, made a mistake and got himself into the wall. Mysterious here in 12th place, 7 seconds in behind Jakey. Nolander in 13th. Losing 2-3 seconds a lap because of it. I'll go take a look at LJ um, on the replay. So sadly, I've had pit strategy and uh, tacos all day. <laughs> Ooh, tacos. I like the sound of tacos. So it is Pepe here in first place. We've got Badass here now up into second place. We've got CRF into third place. Not sure what happened there. Uh, Nutson in fourth. We got Smiley in fifth. We've got Freak in sixth. We've got Larry in seventh. We've got Streeter Tom here in eighth place. We've got Bo in ninth. And the pit stop separating these drivers here just a little tiny bit now. Lucas in tenth. Jakey in eleventh. Miss D in twelfth place. Nolander in thirteenth. So now pit stops are happening. Nutson's going to take over the race lead here. I think he's our fifth different race leader here this evening now as he goes around one more time. Larry Birch looks like he's going to follow him around, take second place. That puts Peme in the pits, Badass in the pits, CRF in the pits, Smiley in the pits, Tattooed in the pits, and Streeter Tom in the pits. That leaves Bo Snipe coming around. Where's Bo Snipe going to settle through here? The penalty serving line's right there. That means start finish line is just a few hundred meters away here. And is he going to grab any positions on these drivers in pit lane? Depends on how much fuel they're taking. And Bo's really been taking a wide entry in uh, into turn one there so far tonight. That may be costing him a little bit there, but he does just leapfrog every driver but Peme there uh, for fourth place here. So Peme getting out just ahead of Bo Snipe there, and is going to be in third place as he comes around. But the two drivers up in front still going to have to make a pit stop. Badass comes out in fifth. CRF comes out in sixth. Lucas is now up into seventh. Of course, he's still on hot laps. Uh, that puts Smiley here in 8th place, that puts Tattooed in ninth. that puts Jakey in 10th place chasing uh, and closing in here, so 3 seconds now to the pack. Streeter Tom is just 2.8 seconds in behind him, Miss Devious is in uh, 12th place here, and Mr. Nolander making himself a little pit stop here. Alright, so it's Knudsen, so let's stick with Knudsen here as he comes around. I'm assuming we're probably going to see a pit stop coming from this driver in the next lap or two. But, we're just assuming what the drivers have to do. Well, that's the surprise part. We don't know what the drivers are going to do. So, Nuts is coming around here, and yep, he's going to bomb that thing in the pit lane. I figured it was coming soon. Larry's going to follow him in as well. So, let's jump on with Peime. Let's jump on board with Peime. And while we're on board with Peime, we'll do a little uh, onboard lap around Daytona here as well. He's just coming out of NASCAR 4. And he's going to be heading down the straight to the start-finish line here now. So he should grab this position on these drivers. Of course, they got to take fuel. You can see right there with Nutsen with 3%. Larry is on fumes coming into pit lane. So um, he should be able to grab this position from these drivers as they're sitting in pit lane. As you can see there, Bo Snipe as well is going to jump ahead there. Badass looking like he's going to move up into third place. CRF is going to grab position on those drivers as well in fourth. So... Here we go, heading into the National Horseshoe on board with Apex Racing's Peme, our current race leader here on lap 15, about 26 minutes into this 40-minute race here this evening. So from there, we're now going to move over to the right-hand side, get ready for the dog leg kink to the left. This is a full-speed corner, just clip the apex and follow the momentum of the car. Braking at the curving here and slowly moving your way down into second gear, first for rotation if needed. And typically you see a late apex there, we're going to see an early apex from uh, Peme there, as he's just going to coast around that apex there, maybe a little bit of strategy to save tires and fuel from this driver currently, it's hard to say. From there, it's a 90 degree corner that leads us into our first banked sector here on the Daytona road course sector. And that's NASCAR 1 and 2. So coming out of the infield sector, the in and out they call that, which is kind of ironic, but that's what they call it. Uh, that takes us into NASCAR uh, 1 and 2. So that's going to take us around. And then instead of just going down the straightaway and coming back into the oval, NASCAR 1 and 2 is separated by the bus stop or now known as the Le Mans chicane. And that's this right here. And then that takes us out into NASCAR 3 and 4, which again is just a high-speed banked sector. Now, the banking on Gran Turismo does not do the real banking 
yeah, justice in the actual racetrack. Uh, you can see there's some heavy banking here on the track, uh, in, in obviously in the cockpit view here, but uh, in real life, that banking, you're almost sideways on the racetrack, it looks like. It's quite incredible. And then you're just going to stay tight to the yellow line here. Obviously, you don't want to give a car any position on the inside line. The rule of thumb is they have to stay on the outside of those lines. So, uh, But that is why we use, of course, the game penalty system to officiate that. So fastest lap right there with a 46.0. Uh, what was that? 064 from Pebe. So, uh, not in trying to get a bonus point here as we just have a few laps remaining here in the race tonight. It's going to be Bo here sitting in second place. We've got uh, TCR's Badass now up into P3. And again, looking for his first podium of the season here tonight. Uh, CRF here in fourth place. And this guy has been nipping on the podium all season long. Can he find one here tonight for the first time? Lucas all the way up into fifth place here now after uh, everything that's happened to him here so far earlier in the race, so far, having a good recovery. The big question here for this driver is, can he manage the fuel and the pace in the tires and not have to stop again with that early pit stop? That's going to put Knudsen in 6th place and behind him and Smiley in 7th. So Smiley is just right there tucked in behind these guys, chilling out right now as well, trying to take advantage of some slipstream, save some extra fuel before the end of the race, just in case you need a little extra push out of that race car. Uh, in a, you know, maybe side-by-side -side drag race situation here at Daytona. Yeah, Larry Birch in 8th place. And that puts the boss man, uh, Apex Sim Racing uh, team owner and founder, uh, Tattooed Freak here just in behind in ninth place as well. So, uh, defending champion, two-time defending champion, Apex Racing Jakey here currently sitting in 10th. Uh, we've got Streeter Tom here in 11th place. We've got Mysterious here in 12th. And we've got Mr. Nolander here. Uh, in 13th, and of course, poor uh, Apex Racing's LJ with the disconnector. We've seen a little bit earlier there. Going to finish the race out in 14th place here for 14 points this evening. Again, I know it's uh, not uh, better than finishing the full racing and ending up where you end up, but at least it's still something uh, for the driver's efforts. So that's the important thing. We want the drivers not to feel like they've just been um, punished. That's for sure. We want them to still enjoy the series. And, and unfortunately, with the internet, disconnects are just a part of it sometimes. And we'll take a look at it and uh, take a look at the issues he was having here tonight and, and try to learn from it and try to fix it so it doesn't happen to other drivers and himself again in the future. We have CRF here in fourth place, and he looks like he's starting to close in on Badass already. Uh, Lucas here in fifth with Knutson in sixth. Now, we know Lucas has some pace question is what is he going to choose to do here now with the uh, alternative pitch strategy he was forced into nuts in here in sixth place as well he's been looking strong all night smiley's in seventh we've got larry here in eighth place we've got streeter tom in uh 11th we've got mysterious in 12th and no lander here in 13th so let's sit on with uh tcr badass here for a couple of minutes let's talk about the standings you'll be around to host okay sounds good joe appreciate you my guy Let's go take a quick look at our uh, standings here. And I don't have them on the screen for you because they're just getting too big to put into the stream for you guys. So we're going to have to template them up and make them a little prettier for everybody. But uh, I can definitely, definitely talk to you guys and gals through it here. So currently after six official rounds of racing here, it is Apex Racing's Jakey in the lead with 171 points. That puts Apex Racing's LJ in second place with 157 points. And Apex Racing's PMA in third place with 146 points. A DC tonight for LJ, uh, definitely, definitely very ill-timed as we go through the standings here. We have CRF in fourth place with 125 points. Mysterious in fifth place with 103. That puts Streeter Tom in sixth with 100 points. Larry Birch in seventh with 95 points. Lucas in eighth with 90. Smiley in ninth with 82. And Knudsen in tenth place with 78 points. And Badass is right there underneath him at 11th with 76. G-Bub there with 71, but not on the track tonight. So going to lose some ground here. Freak right there behind him with 66 points. Nolander with 59 points. Bo Snipe coming in late to the season. And as a, as a reserve driver, and already quickly there with 46 points. And full-time driver uh, Thunder T working uh, away from home right now and just uh, getting into what he can here so far in the series. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we see him back soon and look forward to seeing his return on the racetrack as well. All right, let's get kicking. Let's see what's happening here. We got Payme with a 2.1 second lead on Bo Snipe here right now 
in first place. I did say at the beginning of the stream that Peme said he's winning the rest of these races this season. And he is at just a little less than eight minutes away from getting the first one. Bull Snipe just taking that fastest off from him there with a 45.779 though, however. So trying to steal that bonus point away from Peme right now is Bo Snipe. We got Badass sitting here in third place. He's got 1.2 second gap on CRF in behind. He's five seconds from Bo Snipe up ahead. CRF here in fourth place and he is doing everything he can here to try and close up on Badass up in front and see if he can grab a podium here tonight. Got Lucas in fifth place. We know he is faster tonight. He was our pole sitter in qualifying and a 45.1 was that lap in qualifying as well. So it was a very quick lap around the track here in that Z4. Got Knutson here in sixth place and Knutson's starting to close in on Lucas 36 here. So Knutson might be looking to make a move maybe coming into turn one here. Let's take a look and stick with these two as they come around. Knutson's going to try and get the job done on the outside here. And it is tough to do in Daytona here. He's got to fight the banking and, of course, a long way around the corner. And Lucas is just hanging in there, uh, just inside of Knutson. So we're heading into turn two, side by side. Turns one, side by side. Lucas and Knutson are battling hard here. And Lucas with a great defense. Oh, but he has a wiggle there. And Knutson's going to grab that position from him. A little mistake just costing Lucas there. And Knutson just getting ahead there with that little wiggle from Lucas in fifth place so great battle there between those two drivers and unfortunately there for Lucas just tried to get on the power there and just have a small little wiggle and that was enough for Knutson with the momentum he had to get ahead and get fifth place from him there Smiley looking to close in and capitalize here as well in seventh place Jakey here up into ninth place Tattooed Freak is right on that back bumper so I feel like Jakey had just gotten around Tattooed here uh, oh, but Tattooed is giving him a push there. I think that was a little bit of work there. I think that's like, hey, just get going, man. We got to get going. You're leading this championship. Let's get you moving here. Get you up there. Let's go fight. Let's go get some positions. So uh, definitely a little bump there from Tattooed Freak there. And I think these two have uh, seven minutes to try and grab as many spots as they can. If they can link up and work together real well, it could happen. They might be able to grab one or two spots before the end of this race yet. Streeter Tom, 4.2 seconds behind there in 11th place. We got Mysterious a little bit off the pace here now at the end of the race. Uh, 12 in 12th place, about six seconds in behind. Sorry, seven seconds in behind Streeter Tom and Nolander. Nolander had a rough start to the night here, but he's hanging in there and still in 13th position. So let's keep it going. We're almost there. We're almost there. Let's, uh, let's bring some stuff up here. Let's have a little look-sees. Let's finish this race out. We have four minutes and 15 seconds, uh, six minutes, five minutes and 15 seconds remaining of this race. And of course, depending where the drivers cross that finish line, might get an extra lap in for some, for some maybe not. Payme, 2.8 seconds ahead of Bo Snipe here in second place. Badass is in third place here in CRF, slowly but surely ticking those tents down within a second here now as they come into the International Horseshoe. Let's stick with this just for a moment here and see if that gap changes any here as they come out on exit. And it's going to stay at about a second, so very close pace between these two drivers here. We got Knutson in fifth place and he has just got a gaggle. A lineup of cars up in behind them here. One mistake from any one of these drivers could cause several positions here. Sixth place currently sitting there is Lucas 36. We've got Smiley in seventh, and boy, Larry Birch is starting to press. He is closing in on Smiley here, and so is Tattooed Freak and Apex Racing Jakey in behind as well. So I think we're going to see some positional battles before this race is over here. The drivers, however, need to keep it all right and tight and get those entries and exits perfect and on point. Jakey with a purple sector coming out, heading in towards the bus stop here. Uh, Tattoo Freak in 10th place. We got Miss Devious now up into 11th, and Streeter Tom here uh, in 12th place. So a little bit of a mistake from Tom there. Miss Devious close to take advantage and grab a position here late in the race as well. And Nolander still cruising and putting in some good laps here. So definitely doing his thing here tonight as he continues rocking and rolling on the racetrack. So it is still Peme with the lead. It is 2.8 seconds, and at this point, it is just maintain and don't make the mistake. Bo Snipe is close enough to capitalize on a small mistake from Peme up in the lead there. And, uh, well, we've seen it a couple times here tonight that the leader's not having the best of luck here uh, on Daytona tonight. So it's badass in third place, and CRF is starting to press. Now he is was within 7 tenths of a second there at one point coming into corner one, so... Uh, this could be a pretty good battle for podium position here before the race is over. We still have three minutes remaining, so we got a couple of this lap and one more lap left, basically, for our drivers. 
That's going to be Knutson here in fifth place, and he had a race win there in round five as well. Uh, Lucas here in sixth place, and he's got a little bit of a gap right now on Smiley, but that might be maybe due to these two battling for that seventh position here. So Larry Birch is uh, right there on pushing, definitely putting some pressure here on Smiley uh, late in this race. Jakey is doing everything he can to get into this fight and uh, add a little pressure onto the combination here as well. And Freak is just in behind, hoping to do the same thing. And then a little gap. We got Miss Devious here in 11th. We've got Streeter Tom. Oh, Streeter Tom uh, making a mistake there. Managing to avoid that damage, but uh, late in the race woes for ATK Streeter Tom there. But it is pay me 2.4. So Bo, he's like, okay, I ain't got no more time. I've got to send it now if I want a shot at first place. So Bo Snipe trying to close that gap up, but 2.6 seconds and uh, one and a quarter laps remaining in this race. I don't know if he's going to have the time to do it. Badass here in third place, and boy, CRF is coming. He is in that slip, and that time is dripping away three tenths two tenths two and a half two oh boy it is battle on as we head into corner one here coming across the start finish line Ooh, are we gonna see a move oh he went to go take the slingshot around there and almost made contact there almost misjudged that but he's just gonna settle in and let's see what he does as he comes out in the exit here he took a different line and looking for a great exit here he took a wide entry and a very very short exit there looking to get on the power early and he is tucked right up in behind tcr's badass here right now Good little battle here for third and fourth place. We got Dutson in fifth. We've got Lucas in sixth. We've got Larry here in seventh. We've got Jakey in eighth. And boy, oh boy, Smiley. Oh, making a mistake there as he gets a little bit sideways. And he's going to lose another spot there to Freak as well in ninth. So Smiley dropping a few positions here late in the race. And he's down into P10. Uh, Miss Devious here, she is just chilling right now on her own. Streeter Tom, he is waiting for that clock to run out. He is almost there. He thought that was over right there, maybe? I'm not sure, but one more time around there for ATK Streeter Tom. All right, so it is Peimei. Let's stick with Peimei here as he's coming around. They're coming into the bus stop now. This is going to be very close on whether or not our race leaders are going to get another time around here. GG's driver showing up late, but I'm here. Hey, how you doing, Adam? Rockefeller representative up in the house here. Mr. Sephiroth up in the chat. I hope we're doing well, my dude. So Peme, 23 seconds on the clock. He is midway through NASCAR three and four. Oh, he might just get a victory lap in here as he comes around. Let's see what happens. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. There we go. Victory lap for Peme. No, Bo Snipe is going to make it across. It is going to be a fight. And here we go. Battle for third place here. We knew it was coming. CRF's going to go on the outside of Badass here. And he's just going to get the job done. A third place finish there for CRF. And Badass is just going to lose out. The drag race to the line. Nutson going to come across in fifth place. Uh, Lucas there in sixth. We got Larry in seventh. We got Jakey in eighth. We got Freak in ninth. Smiley's going to come across there in 10th place with a very rough final lap there for him, losing three positions. Miss Devious is going to come around here in P11. And a uh, tough race for Miss Devious here uh, this week as a little bit of contact with this driver right here. He takes ATK Streeter Tom early on in the race, gave the position back to him, and they were chasing uh, all the way around since. So Streeter Tom here going to finish it out. He's going to be a P12 here. He's got the fuel to get around. And that'll leave Nolander there in P13 as well. So... I think we can catch Nolander coming across here before we got Peimei and Bo Snipe coming across. So let's get with Streeter Tom here. So 12th place finish here for Streeter Tom. I know he's not going to be too pleased with that finish, but uh, P13 nonetheless. So Nolander's just coming through the bus stop here right now. He's just got NASCAR 3 and 4 to go. And he's going to round out uh, 13th place here for himself. I know he's not going to be happy about that, but you know what? These drivers, they continue just to put in the pace and his experience. It's seat time. And, well, this is a fast division. Uh, one little mistake costs a lot of time, and it's hard to make that time back up. And we've seen it a couple different instances here tonight. Uh, and some different names on the podium here again this evening, so we love to see that. But it is going to be Apex Racing's Peime saying what he's going to do. He's going to bring it home, and he's going to get one win out of the four left to take. He says he's winning the last four rounds. Round number one in the books. Both snipe coming across. Hard-fought battle here from him, and a clean second-place finish here from him as well. So... There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's our Daytona race tonight.
Hey, how's it going, Nutson? Great job out there tonight, my guy. So it is going to be Apex Racing's payday with the race win and the clean race, but not getting the fastest lap on the racetrack. So Paymay's record of consecutive fastest laps comes to an end at round six as somebody else has finally knocked him off those bonus points here in round seven. So let's go take a look at those results. Let's save some replays. Unofficial results here, ladies and gentlemen, as seen obviously live on screen here this evening. Now, the reason why we say they're unofficial is because now the drivers will have 24 hours to file any incident reports if they feel necessary. From there, the stewards will review those uh, incident reports. They will make an assessment. Sometimes it's just education. Sometimes it's a penalty. It depends on the situation at hand. From there, they make that decision. If the drivers are fine with it, then that's it. It's all said and done. Standings get posted. Uh, if not, they can appeal it. It goes to an appeals steward, and from there, they do their process, and a decision will be made from there. So either it's overruled, or it is as stewards called, and that, that is that. So uh, that's why we say unofficially at the end of the race, just for those of you that are a little confused by, I guess, the phrasing uh, used as we do our broadcast here. So it is Apex Racing's payday, and he actually does have the fastest lap. I don't know why I didn't tell us that. Uh, with 145.570, so he does take that bonus point here uh, tonight. And second place is Bo Snipe. It's going to be CRF here in third place. Badass in fourth place. And just losing on that podium right at the end of the night. At the end there. Uh, notes in there in fifth place. Solid race from him here tonight. Lucas 36 in sixth place. Good recovery drive from Lucas 36. Larry in seventh. And our two-time defending champion and championship points leader down in P8 here tonight. So not ideal for him. Apex Racing's Tattooed Freak is going to finish here in 9th place. Smiley will finish in 10th. Misdevious in 11th place. ATK Streeter Tom will finish here in 12th. Rad Nolander in 13th. And LJ with the disconnect in 14th position here this evening. So uh, those are... i got to take some pictures of those. Hold on. Not to doing my job. And the reason why we take the pictures of this is because it does have the time... It does have timing differences. Sometimes it does factor in on the race call. So let's move it over. Let's go hit our podium interview screen here real quick. And let's go have a chat with our driver, shall we? All right, so we have CRF, who we are just waiting for uh, Payme and Mr. Bo Snipe. Once those guys jump in, we will go have a chat with our drivers. So uh we'll just be a momento here with crf ggs congrats baby good evening fellas all right how is everybody doing that was a that was a a very methodical strategic race here from our pro division tonight uh not quite the action-packed events that we typically see from this division this was a lot more strategic and tactical and and that's not surprising with everything that's on the line uh here at the end of the season right now the season is coming we are officially heading into the chase of the championship starting next week with our round at suzuka and with that being said be ready for a special guest commentator uh, next week as, of course, uh, I will be unable to host our events here next week due to, well, got to move into our new digs. We got to go get the new place and get all reset up and then we'll be right back at it doing what we do here at DMJ Vroom Room North America. So we're just going to give, there we go. We got all our drivers just to popped up on in there. We'll go have a little chat with our drivers here. Just got to tweak some audios for a second. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, welcome in, gentlemen. An absolutely great racing out there uh, this evening. Not only, of course, by uh, the three of you on the podium here this evening, but all the drivers on the racetrack. Very strategic race here this evening. Uh, you know, the first two, three, four rounds, we've seen a lot of uh, jockeying for position, a lot of good hard door-to-door, tire-to-tire racing and battling. And as we progress through the season, these drivers have felt each other out. They know uh, who they need to watch out for. They know some weaknesses and strengths of the drivers that they're facing against on the track. And that leads us into tonight, round seven. Uh, implications are huge. Points matter. Positions matter. Every detail matters moving forward to the end of the season here. Now, for each and every one of these drivers, so some of these drivers, it worked out to plan. Some of them to not. Not so much to plan tonight. But we have three drivers that we definitely get to talk to tonight and they can give us a little bit of insight on how they thought their races went here this evening. So let's start with our third place finisher, uh, Apex Racing CRF. And I believe 
this is his first podium finish here this season uh, at DMJ Vroom Room North America. So uh, congratulations on a great run here tonight. An absolutely photo finish down to the start finish line here at the end of the race, just snagging that position from TCR Badass. Uh, congratulations. How are you feeling? And talk us through your race here this evening. Hey, thanks, Ghost. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what a great race. I uh, never thought I'd be on a podium this season for sure. But, uh, yeah, that, that photo finish with uh, Badass was was pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, just, just happy to be up here, to be honest with you, Ghost. And, you know, we, we were talking to the viewers a lot tonight about how quick this division is and just the smallest amount of mistakes uh, in this absolutely capable field of drivers can really, really cost you on the racetrack. And tonight, you said you had a really relatively mistake-free race. So uh, do you think that really played a big factor into a strong finish here tonight? So it was a good, consistent laps, and you kind of kept yourself out of trouble? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think I found myself in, like, fifth or sixth off the start, uh, and then I just watched people spin out one at a time and I'm like well that's a freebie uh and yeah you just keep it consistent and that's how I try to drive is just consistent um I'm not the fastest but uh yeah the consistency paid off tonight and uh yeah just just got some freebies well and I mean that racing's racing and we've seen that today Daytona had his teeth out tonight we've seen a couple of our race leaders three of our race leaders have some uh some issues while leading the race and uh finding themselves dropping through the pack so that is going to shake up the standings here a little bit as well you have been Mr. Consistent this season here in the pro division we have one in the pro-am division with Egon as well we call him Mr. Consistent as well and you're very quickly developing that same name in this pro division uh several fourth fifth place finishes this season uh finally finally finding that podium so I guess uh uh, how's the feeling? Is this a uh, first podium career victory for you uh, as far as sim racing goes? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, this is, yeah, for for this sim racing, absolutely. Uh, I just picked up GT7 probably six, seven months ago. Uh, found you guys on, a, on the league. Uh, joined up, you know. Uh, got invited by a great team, Apex. Uh, working with them really has picked up my pace a little bit in the past couple of weeks I've been with them. Uh, so yeah, I just can't thank them enough uh, for welcoming me and, and just helping me with the pace and everything. Just great guys. Absolutely great organization. The Apex Sim Racing Team is, and of course, heavy, heavy supporters here at uh, DMJ Vroom Room North America. So we definitely appreciate the Apex Sim Racing uh, Team coming here and showing that love tonight. Uh, you know, the viewers don't get a chance to talk to some of the drivers or hear to some of the drivers very often. So why don't you tell the viewers uh, a little bit about yourself and uh, whatever it is that you, uh, you feel comfortable talking about? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, I just picked up sim racing as a, you know, a way to, to get away from, you know, the everyday stressors and whatnot. Um, you know, found some good, good people in the community. Uh, yeah, and just have, have went front went with it from there. Um, you know, I'm just a, a simple person, you know, like the simple things in life and uh yeah, just keep it moving forward. Absolutely. And I mean that's just uh what we gotta do from day to day as adults, unfortunately. We have uh, adulting that needs to be done, but as adults we also get to uh reward ourselves for our hard work and our efforts and, and that's hobbies like things like sim racing so you've been looking really strong in the season this season uh coming in as a, as a new face here this season uh you know you're doing really well in the standings you're right there in the top six of the standings had a great race finish tonight and you pick up some big points here so i guess moving into the chase for the championship at this point in the final three rounds i guess what's your focus now moving forward uh to be honest goes nothing nothing changes you know i just you know we'll keep the grind up you know keep the same everything going um yeah, nothing changes. You know, I'm just going to keep keep doing what I'm doing. Absolutely. And back to the race just a little bit. I mean, let's, uh, you're reeling badass in slowly but surely, lap by lap throughout that final stint. Uh, I, I believe maybe at some point he might have been fuel saving near the end of the race there. Uh, were you maybe aware or thinking that that was the case, that he was fuel saving? And uh, at what point did you think that you, you, you had a shot at maybe getting that position before the end of the race? Uh, yeah, like you said, I, I was watching the, the time tick down. Um, there was like one or two corners where I kept losing a tenth here and there. Um, but I did figure he might be field saving because he was in and out the pits a little quicker than I was. 
Um, I made sure to take a little extra fuel just in case, um, which p played out very well today. Um, but yeah, I figured, you know, I honestly thought I had another lap. Uh, once I saw I was catching them on that, the front stretch, I was like, all right, one more lap. And then I was just going to go for the pass. And then <laughs> I crossed the line and then, you know, the wheel shut off and I'm like, what? Uh, and then we finished. So yeah, I was honestly surprised, but it was a great race and it was, it was a good clean race with them. And I couldn't be more happy with that. So it was, it was good, good, good deal. Absolutely, and it was some great battles all throughout the racetrack, but for the most part, your race was pretty uneventful. You were just uh, in line, just trying to keep pace up there with those front guys and just trying to give yourself the best chance at, uh, well, a podium finish, and here you are tonight sitting on third place. So uh, congratulations, and I guess any final thoughts and any thank yous or shout-outs? Yeah, uh, thank you again for Ghost, uh, yourself, I mean, putting this on, giving us this platform, uh, DMJ, uh, obviously apex racing, uh, like I said earlier, those guys are just phenomenal. Um, yeah. And I, you know, the people watching, you know, and you know, everybody that, that comes together and, and supports us and, and, you know, just enjoys sim racing and, you know, has fun doing it and, you know, just to get away and might get your mind off something that, you know, you might need to get it off for a second. So, uh, yeah, just thank you to everybody for that. Absolutely, and uh, you know it's a pleasure to have you here, and uh, I'm sure that the uh, Apex Clubhouse is is getting pretty rowdy. So we'll let you get down to the boys who are at the clubhouse there and go celebrate that podium victory because it was definitely uh, well earned here this evening. Hey, I appreciate that, Ghost, and uh, congrats to the rest of the podium. Great, great job, guys. Cheers, awesome. We we love we love our podium racers here, our podium finishers every week at DMJ. These guys are so well spoken. They always have awesome things to say. So. Let's keep it rolling, shall we? Let's move over to our second place finisher and Bo Snipe. So Bo Snipe is registered in at the series. He's qualified in as a substitute driver or a reserve driver. However, he is driving for his own points when he does step in to race from week in to week out. And he's been fortunate so far to be able to get into every race since he's joined into the series. So very quickly, this gentleman is climbing those point standings. And uh, another great, great finish here for him tonight. P2 for Bo Snipe. And new member of, I believe, Rad Racing Team, uh, founded by Nolander Gaming, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, very, very well done here tonight. Talk us about the race. You had great pace here. It was some good battling for you and a lot of patient driving. So uh, talk us through it and let us know how it went for you this evening. Yep. Uh, plenty of practice. Came in with uh, a lot of practice. Um, definitely wanted to make sure that uh, come race time, I knew what to do uh, and what not to do. And... Uh, the focus was to do what I know worked, nothing more and nothing less. Uh, uh, pit strategy was a little up in the air, but uh, as as the race progressed, I it, it it sorted itself out. So I knew, in the end, I knew what I you know I knew what I was going to do. Um, it was it was a lot of fun racing with uh, with Paymay and Jakey and CRF up there uh, with Luke. A lot of fun. Um, very happy that I was actually able to keep pace. Um, that, I was a little surprised by that because those guys are top notch. They're uh, they're next level stuff, and I was glad that tonight I was I was up to the task to at least keep pace with those guys. Uh, tried to stay clean. I did pick up some penalties. I uh, backstretch chicane got me two or three different times, but luckily um, I was able to to reel back in. I was able to make that back up and get myself back in contention. So. Yeah, but uh, overall, smooth race uh, strategy worked uh, as it was supposed to, and I just I just stayed within myself and what I knew worked. Absolutely, and, and pretty eventful race up in front of you. Uh, beginning of the race, you know, Lucas had incredible pace. Of course, our pole sitter in qualifying uh, had a little bit of a, a little bit of a mistake, and then followed up by a little bit of a bigger mistake a little bit later on uh, in the race there, and found himself falling down the field. So. That moved uh, moved all you guys up a couple of positions, and Jake takes over the lead and has much the same uh, similar issue. You know, he comes around turn one and gets a little early on that throttle and just gets that car around it to the wall, and, and bam, the whole race has changed again. So you find yourself sitting in the podium position uh, at about a third way through the race, and you're chasing down that absolutely blazing fast Apex Racing's Pave, who has just been a worthy opponent here all season long. Uh, talk us through that. I mean, what goes through your mind as you're trying to chase that driver down? It, does anything change? You're just trying to hit your marks, or are you watching him and looking at his line, seeing if you can pick something up? I mean, uh, what, what goes through the mind when you're trying to chase down that win uh, in the race? 
Yeah, it, yeah. Anytime, anytime you're behind uh, next level guys like Payme and Jakey, uh, Luke, um, you're always you're you're trying to you're looking at what they're doing, you're studying their line, um, and you're looking for anywhere where you are making up time, um, and then trying to fix where you're losing time. But uh, the uh, try just stay focused on what I needed to do. But when I when I when I was comfortable. When I had a, when I was comfortable enough, I would, I, I tried to watch a little bit, you know, tried to see the line, tried to understand what they were doing. Um, and, and uh, but in this race is not the time to try to utilize what you pick up because you only, you can only do what you know in the race, but it's stuff to learn as, as I roll along. So there's always something to learn behind those guys um, anytime practice or in the race. So always trying to pick something up always. Uh, yeah, I just, like I said, I just wanted to do what I knew worked, uh, keep myself out of trouble, race those guys as clean as I can, and uh, and uh, get the best finish I possibly could with what I knew worked. Uh, absolutely, and I mean, it, it worked very well for you tonight. You know, you guys made your pit stops, you come out on your second stint. Uh, payment has got about a, about a 2.8 second gap, but he did a pretty good job at managing that gap for the most part till near the end of the race. Obviously, maybe he started having to do a little fuel saving, or maybe there's a little strategy play there, but uh, allowed you to close in a little tiny bit. Uh, in the last five laps, did you think you might have had a shot at him if you started pushing, or did you even have the fuel and tire really to, to try and force the issue? There was a, I think there was a couple laps where I, I closed the gap a little bit. Um, uh, I felt like maybe, maybe, there, maybe I had a shot. There was a couple of corners where it looked like I was a little better. Um, so I just, I just tried to be better where I could um, and just kept digging, believe, you know, always believing. Um, I was saving fuel from the moment I left pit road uh, off the stop because um, I came in third, got just what I needed uh, to, to end the race, but was saving from the, from the moment I left pit road with, you know, so um I was able to do save fuel and have the and have the pace that I had, so I was real, I'm very happy about that. But I was doing what I could, and once we got down uh, two or three laps to go, I, I I could tell that I could start to to not I I could go back to running hard, so that's what I tried to do. Um, I didn't really gain a lot. I think I started to overdrive the car, so I wasn't I didn't lose a lot, but I was just wasn't gaining. Um, but uh, the last two or three laps, I was, I was working it for all it was worth. Um, I just, uh, he just, he just had the right gap and, and could maintain that. So, um, but the strategy worked. It did what it was supposed to do. It got me back out second. That was the biggest thing. My stop. I wanted to make, I wanted to get, make it as short as possible. And I jumped and I was able to leapfrog CRF on the pit stop. Absolutely. And I mean, pit stop strategy really is, uh, you know, a big battle in these endurance races, whether they're shorter endurance races or long endurance races. So, uh, you know, saving a little bit of fuel when you can and saving those tires a little bit when you can, obviously can make a big difference. But uh, it didn't change the fact that you got a strong race here tonight and a very solid P2 finish. So, you know, uh, f fewer mistakes than the rest of the guys uh, around you and a nice little cushion there at the end of the race. So really all you had to do was focus on that battle for P1. And sometimes when a driver realizes that it's just not quite in reach, it's just easy to bring that thing home and take that checkered flag in the best finishing position we can. So second place for yep. you for uh, yep. for tonight. So second podium of your very young season yep. here at DMJ, looking very strong. What's your focus, I guess, moving into the next three rounds? Uh, I guess first start uh, hoping you could get a spot on the track, but you're moving quickly up in points. Yep. So uh, I guess what's the goal now for the rest of the season? Uh, just to continue what I'm doing, uh, uh, check in for a race. Um, if there's a spot open, I'll fill it and uh, and and learn everything I can learn. Um, you know, mostly just trying to learn uh, about this series and about the guys that race in here, and 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 you know, try to fit in where where I fit in, and uh, and uh, give them give them a give them another guy to challenge them. So, yep, yep. Uh, I mean, it, uh, again, fairly uneventful race for you. you just uh, you stayed out of trouble with the guys that had some mistakes in front of you yeah. and kept the car clean. Uh, yeah. I, I guess yeah. really anything you want to add to the race and uh, shout outs and thank yous. Yeah, like I said, just came in, uh, focused on doing what I knew worked, not trying to not trying to reinvent the wheel um, after all the practice. So uh, just tried to come in and do what I knew worked. Um, thank you to DMJ for their support of this series. Uh, thank you, Ghost and GT45 for the streams and the exposure 
for the series. Uh, I, I, I'm representing GTRC as well as Team Rad. So uh, thank you to both of them. Uh, big shout out to GTRC for uh, all that they have done to help me out. Uh, I've come a long way and a lot of that is from those guys uh, uh, spending time with me and, and uh, teaching me the things that have helped help me improve so much, uh, particularly over this year. Uh, thank you to them. Uh, great job by everybody. Uh, congratulations to everybody. I, I, most looks like most people had a pretty decent race. Congratulations to Paymay. Great pace, smart driver. Uh, did did exactly what he needed to do, and uh, worked out really well for him. And I gave him all I could handle. I gave him everything I could at the end, and it, it, I just I just couldn't get there. Just couldn't get there. Absolutely. Well, nonetheless, great second place finishing some good points here for you tonight. So, uh, again, appreciate you taking some time to come down to the interview booth here and, and have a chat with us. And, uh, of course, the yes, fans always sir. love it as well. And uh, uh, Rad Team owner, uh, pretty pretty happy about the podium saying, yes, sir, let's go, another Rad podium. So, uh, you got a fan there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you to the fans. I, I apologize for not, for not getting them in there earlier, but thank you to them as well. Without them, uh, without them this isn't even possible, so... We, we need the fans. Absolutely. We need them. Well, we appreciate you as always. And, uh, well, maybe, maybe we'll see you on the podium next week. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to work hard to be there. Absolutely. All right, man. Take Ch care. Cheers, brother. All right. This man said to me at the end of the race last week that he is doing nothing but winning the remaining four races of this season. That's one. Congratulations to Apex Racing Payme. Four rounds remaining, one win under the belt, three more to go for Payme. Uh, how are you feeling? Pretty good race tonight. Uh, you stayed pretty patient early on. You didn't get too panicked about being uh, down in the mid-pack of the grid, and you kept your head down, and you end up finding yourself on that top of that podium again. Talk us through it, my guy. Well, Dan, here's the deal. I'm the best there is. Plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I say it's excellent, and nobody can hang with my stuff. Uh, you know, I'm just a, just a big, hairy American winning machine. That's it, right there, baby. <laughs> Love that. That we was with an objective, and we uh, completed that objective today. Absolutely, and I think we have a very, very confident, determined uh, chaser for that championship here in season three with Apex Racing PMA, ladies and gentlemen. That Ooh. was quite the response right Let's there. Go, baby. Go, baby. Uh, interesting race. Uh, the Daytona had its teeth out here tonight. Definitely made some of these drivers pay uh, for little mistakes around the racetrack. I guess first and foremost, how was the racetrack out there today? It looked like it might have been a little bit slick. And uh, how was your race, man? Oh yeah, she's uh, she's uh, really slick out there, especially whenever you're uh, on the mediums and it's it's where uh, it'll uh, put a wear on you too if you ain't careful. Uh, Pretty good race though. Um, yeah, congrats to uh, CRF and Bo for a good race. Tough luck to to Jakey and them, and just unfortunate, unfortunate uh, for those guys. But uh, very fortunate for me. Uh, I think they gave me a good jump on some points, so I'm hoping to uh, carry that throughout these next uh, few races. Try to find that top spot. Absolutely, and some and and, and then some very unfortunate luck for uh, LJ and Jakey, of course, up ahead of you in the point standings here right now. Jakey uh, finishing in the mid pack here this evening with a just a just a little mistake in turn one, and that really was his kind of deciding turning factor for him in the race tonight. But uh, LJ having some some technical issues here, and eventually DC from the race uh, currently sitting second place in championship points. So definitely stings for LJ here. So we're definitely going to see a shake up in the point standings next week. Uh, I mean, you're up against a tough field of drivers it's not just jakey and lj sitting in first and second place coming into this round that you have to worry about it's every other driver in the field so how do you continue to remain so focused and locked in knowing that you're upset against uh, such co tough competition every week oh um, yeah uh you're not wrong there this is absolutely a tough field um i mean i think i found myself in fifth place fourth or maybe fifth place at one point um I saw um, badass up there as well. Um, lots of lots of guys really putting in some work and it's showing up. And it's, made, it's making it tough, but uh, I really love the competition and I think uh, we can all benefit from it. 
Absolutely. And as the season has progressed, we have seen uh, a lot of improvement, not only from the drivers that are already really quick coming into the season, but some of the drivers that might have been a little bit worried about their pace coming into the season. I'm seeing, uh, you know, qualifying is a good example. We were within two seconds in 14 cars of qualifying here tonight. And that just goes to show me that every single one of these drivers is improving. And uh, we were seeing hundreds of a second splitting those top six, seven drivers in qualifying tonight as well. So, uh, you know, good, good race start. Good, great race start from the drivers. Everybody made it through nice and tidy for the most part. Uh, you know, you guys stayed really tight together for about the first eight, nine laps, and then the field started to spread out. Uh, I guess my biggest question is, is what opted everybody to drive the Z4 when I... Uh, Initially, I, without really doing any testing and tuning, you would think that that M6 would be the viable car here, just due to the fact that it has such big high-speed sections around the racetrack. Yeah, uh, actually, the just the way the Z4 it it, it was really pulling on the straights, actually, uh, which you know it's still the Z4 though. So I don't. I, I can't speak for anybody else on why they decided that. But everybody's, you know, we're going to the, the jack of all trades, so everybody's going to try to use the car somewhere. Um, everybody's going to have different opinions. So, okay, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> what was your second half of your question? Uh, I, I rambled on so long I forgot it myself. I do that sometimes. <laughs> uh, I did too. Uh, it's still a great race. So, I mean, you managed to steal that fastest lap right at the end of the race there too as well. So, uh, you're on seven straight consecutive fastest lap point, uh, record here right now in the season two as well. Is that something that's kind of like a, a little goal of yours is to try and grab up all 10 of those bonus points this season? Oh, I mean, I'm really trying to get any points I can. Um, I'm just been fortunate enough to, um, be able to push it and go for that lap whenever I have the chance to in the race. And uh, I just got to keep putting myself in that position. Um, yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I didn't get that pole position here tonight. There was some great pace from several of the drivers on the racetrack. But after 15 minutes of qualifying and 40 minutes of hard racing here at Daytona, you find yourself sitting once again on top of that podium and getting a little bit closer to maybe tasting the prize at the end of the season here as well. So Suzuka next week, how do you feel about Suzuka? Oh, pretty confident. Um, I like Suzuka pretty good. I think uh, I think I'll be I think I'll be pretty good there as well. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I got someone just walked in my room. <laughs> um, yeah, Suzuka. I always love Suzuka. Um, it's always got a good pace, so uh, it's going to be a tough, tough crowd once again, as it is every week. And I'm really just hoping that I can keep the pace up, uh, keep the consistency up, and find myself hopefully in that P1 spot the rest of the way. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be a top finish for sure. But uh, yeah, we, everybody's going to need to tune in to see how it all ends. Absolutely, absolutely. The season's only going to continue to heat up. We got Suzuka, Watkins Glen, and our finale, ladies and gentlemen, which I'm not going to quite tell you what it is just yet, but it is going to be an absolute banger, that's for sure. But uh, Paymate coming in round seven, big points here tonight, very well needed points, and he said he's winning all four, so mission accomplished here tonight, three more to go. Uh, at the end of the season, if he can win all four races and keep those other two drivers ahead of him just a little bit at bay, he has a great shot at holding the trophy at the end of the season. So uh, we appreciate you as always, Payman. You're always coming in. Your 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 driving is just so crisp. It's clean. It, you're quick. Uh, it really is a pleasure to watch you, and the fans definitely enjoy watching you on the racetrack and and watching the skill you provide week in and week out as well. Uh, with that being said, I guess any final thoughts and any shout outs and thank yous. Yeah. Uh... Thank you for the compliment. Um, I appreciate you and what you bring to the table. Uh, you give us this podium, you know, to, to this platform to uh, really show our skills off and uh, let everyone watch as well. Um, your commentary, you know, top notch. You gotta just go ahead and hit that like and that subscribe or follow. Do what you gotta do. Uh, turn those notifications on so y'all can uh, continue checking out what uh, GT45's got to offer. Yeah, big shout out to the Apex team. Uh, you know, it's we're just 
constantly uh, constantly the antenna all tents uh, each and every one of us at the at the apex and warehouse and really putting in some work uh, congrats to CRF and Bo um, really proud of CRF uh, for what he's been doing here lately he's, hasn't been on the team too long but uh, his pace is really uh, advancing and you can tell and yeah just shout out to Jakey and LJ everybody tattoo uh, all the Apex gods for, for just what we bring Superman uh, all the love Absolutely, and, and as always, definitely showing the love uh, to the team. And the Apex Sim Racing team, they're a pretty tight group. They work hard together. Uh, I can attest to it. I see it firsthand all the time, and uh, they continue to push each other faster and harder uh, week in and week out. So definitely be looking out for the Apex Sim Racing team in your league, in your neighborhood, because these boys, they can drive. Uh, congratulations on another great win. And again, thanks for taking some time to come chat with us. And well... We'll let you get back to that clubhouse and go enjoy it with the boys. Absolutely. I appreciate you, Tim. Cheers, Payne. Have yourself a great night, my guy. Yes, sir. Have a good one. <laughs> no, you guys got to get some fresh air before you forget what you're talking about again. Yeah, yeah. Easy, John. Easy, John. We know, we know. All right. Hey, you know, our minds, they go a mile a minute when you get excited sometimes. It's really hard to keep ourselves uh, in check, I guess, sometimes. We can't get the words out faster. They come into our brain. We got GD's driver from Joe showing up late, but I'm here, says Adam. Uh, good evening, said Kenneth. Yeah, congrats, Payme. Both tonight, my guy. Race well done to all. Maybe the other ghost filling in for you? No, Mr. Knudsen. I can tell you who our commentator is going to be next week, ladies and gentlemen. It's no surprise we're going to bring in the legendary D.90 to cover for GT45 Gaming here in the North American Division next week. So uh, I am unable to broadcast myself because I won't be connected up yet and I won't have the stream back up and running in time. So our resident Uni uh, United Kingdom host, our EU host, D.90, is going to step in and take over on the comms next week for our pro and our pro am divisions if we are up and running in time we're just going to jump up in the box and join him and let him do his thing so uh d.90 will have the broadcast for next week's races ladies and gentlemen and we will post that on the socials and let everybody know where they can find all the action for next week's round of suzuka definitely not going to want to miss a race of suzuka we all know that's going to be a good race Pay May strikes again. CRF, well done to you as well. Uh, be right back. Well done. All drivers, good show. Ha ha, Pay May. Hey, hey, Pay May floats like a Cadillac and stings like a Beamer. Oh, uh, that's great. Love that. Let's catch up on some shout outs too. We had lots of stuff coming in here during the interviews, but we don't like to interrupt our drivers. So, uh, Kilt coming in with the like and multiple shares. Much love, my dude. Kenneth coming in with that thumbs up. Nolander with the care on the stream and the triple share as well. Nolander Gaming over on Facebook Gaming, ladies and gentlemen. One of our pro drivers here, DMJ North America. Also, one of our broadcasters here at GT45 Gaming. He steps in and does a lot of work with us here. Go check him out over on Facebook Gaming. Make sure you like, share, subscribe tell him gt45 gaming sent you show the man some love he's got the talent we got egon coming in with the thumbs up we got tdc gaming coming in with the big time love with the follow on the stream my dude welcome into the winter circle community we appreciate you join our facebook group my guy members of the community get to go and uh they get to post their streams out in that community page for the rest of the community to go show the love get involved get in there get your network going my guy we appreciate you or gal whichever the case may be tdc gaming coming in with that like on the stream as well and stefan waters coming in with that thumbs up on the stream as well everybody over there on youtube we know you're there we love you we see you we appreciate you as well can I say, great racing tonight. Let's recap this race. I mean, Daytona can provide one of two things. It can provide some sugar and spice, something sweet and nice, or it can grin and bear its teeth and not play nice. And tonight, it was a little bit of both. It started off real good for our drivers. The track was playing nice, showing a little sugar and spice. But then, it decided to show its teeth and not play so nice. Taking out a couple of our race leaders here this, uh, early on the race with some mistakes. The track, a little bit cool there in the evening, of course. So slippery conditions. The tires are coming cold out of pit lane and on the race start. 
it's not hard these bmws with the turbos and the power and just the torque that these cars have it is so easy for these cars to break that traction in the rear end especially on a cold racing surface so uh it was it was an eventful night here at the daytona road course but it was a very tactical and strategic race uh, even with all the things aside and the little mistakes made by drivers uh we've seen a little bit of contact between a couple of drivers in a couple instances uh, it was a very strategic tactical thought out race it seemed like every driver had a plan when they came in and they were going to try to do everything they could to stick to that plan unfortunately for some of the drivers it didn't quite work out that way hey it's racing it happens it, it's not always going to work out the way you want it and that's why it's a sport that's why it's a competition because we just don't know uh, it is anybody's game any any time they're out on the racetrack and the driver that has the most perfect race usually will come out on top so tonight that was Apex Racing's Payme, followed up by Bo Snipe and Apex Racing CRF. And that is his first uh, podium finish here in DMJ. I believe his first podium finish in a sim racing career and his first podium finish as an Apex sim racer as well. So uh, week in and week in out, it seems like DMJ Room Room North America continues to uh, set first for our drivers and break records here uh, in our history as a very short, short young esports organization in North America here. But uh, top-notch driving from our drivers i can't do it uh say thank you enough to every driver on and off the racetrack all the time the drivers put in throughout the week to get ready for these races it's astonishing the amount of time these drivers put in they do practice races with each other they they help each other they teach each other it really is what provides such great great racing for us at home um and at work wherever it is we're watching from or whatever device it is we're watching from so much love to the drivers because we really can't do it without the drivers if we don't have a driver we don't have the races and then Besides that, it's you guys, you gals out there, the fans, the viewers, the moms, the dads, the brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, grandmas, grandpas, the nieces, nephews, brothers and sisters, the family pets, uh, you know, it's the desires to fire in the belly for the drivers to come out and put all that work in and put on the absolute 100% best show they can put on for you, everybody at home week in and week out. And between the two legends, the racers, and you guys and gals at home, the viewers, it makes absolutely amazing racing action and it brings together a community it brings together people that would never think that they would ever uh meet somebody so cool or somebody that's so connected or somebody that's so similar um it's a family vibe here at dmj room room north america and uh you know if you see what happens behind the scenes you wouldn't argue it any other way that's what we are here community is a family we all treat each other with respect here and it shows on and off the racetrack week in and week out division by division pros just doing what they do best and putting on an absolutely great race tonight not a lot of hot action battle the, the, the moves were decisive and they were precise and boy the mind games were full on board what can i say great racing here from dmj north america again this week in round seven but this one might be over we got one more tomorrow night we got our pro-am division here for round seven same track different drivers We'll see what cars they put on the track tomorrow night here at Daytona Road Course. That'll be live at 9.30 p.m. Uh, 9.15 p.m. Eastern Time, pardon me, ladies and gentlemen, here at GT45 Gaming. And look forward to seeing you all there joining us there. Let's see who can take home the race victory this week over in the Pro-Am Division. And those standings are a little bit tighter than our Pro Division standings currently, so a lot more implications in tomorrow night's race. Uh, we're going to send this thing off. With the highlight video how about that hey chat in case you missed our round six highlights from tokyo expressway at the beginning of the stream we're gonna send you off with some four to five minutes of highlights and then a little bit of tunes to say good night for the evening so thank you again everybody for coming in for the likes shares the comments thanks for hanging out with me here at gt45 gaming and the drivers of course on track while they pour their hearts and souls onto daytona road course this, this evening um seen a new podium finisher here tonight love that i can't uh, we love to see the new podium finishers we love to talk to them we love to hear their story so stay tuned for more coming from dmj north america as well ladies and gentlemen we appreciate y'all enjoy the highlights stay winning and remember you all matter folks our door is always open here at gt45 gaming you need somebody to talk to i'm here for you to talk to to listen to we're always here you matter you're our family we care about you we appreciate you. Thank you for all the support. In a very close two years now here on Facebook, thank you guys and gals out there. I appreciate y'all.
Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out 